So we have a couple students that walked out of school. Um, what was the, what were the conditions like? People everywhere it was like a meat farm. Yeah, it was an anarchy, like chicken pit. People <laughs> crowd surfing in the yeah. morning is my understanding through the English hallways. Was it hard to cross the picket line? Yeah, like we like pulling in the driveway. We we drive to school. Pulling in, we see like our teachers. We're like we want to let them know that we're not crossing because we so we don't support them. We're crossing simply to see what it's like. Yeah, it's mostly a curiosity thing. They were kind of bragging about how we had a bunch of students here today. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it was more just the students were very curious about what it was going to be like. Um, not a normal day then. No, it was, was, it was total anarchy inside. There was no type of system or any type of like authority involved. We were in there for what three periods, two yeah. periods, and we didn't go to a single class. We didn't have anyone check us. We just walked in, and they're like, "Oh, well, if you don't have a class, go to the auditorium, and if you don't can't go to the auditorium, then just walk around." And what does this teach you about how the Board of Education is teaching the teachers that you obviously... Definitely think they have the priorities mixed up here right now. If anything, they just need to get it settled because this this can't go on. What, what are your parents saying about the situation? My dad personally didn't want me to cross the picket line today, but I told him I wanted to see what it's like and get an experience. I appreciate it, guys. I just say what I feel. Say what you feel. Okay. Um, our teachers are awesome, and we need to have the respect. They don't deserve a contract that they're not worth. Um, I think the student body should be out here participating, supporting the teachers that we love that do a great job. Does it disappoint you that so many parents had their kids go to school and cross yes. picket line? Yes. And in the school, yes. it is nuts. There's... Children it's running around chaotic. screaming. The only people that are fit to actually handle this are the teachers themselves that we have, have been in this in school for how long. And the substitutes in there are not qualified for anything they that they're English. trying to do. Some of them don't speak English. Some of them don't even know how to spell. I mean, it's crazy in there. They can't even do anything. What do the Board of Education's actions um, teach you about the respect of teachers? I mean, is it a complete... Yeah, down the drain. There's no respect. There needs to be respect. They're awesome teachers. Mr. Tilly Ray, you're a great man. You're a great teacher. And they don't deserve it. Eugene McCormick with ClevelandLeader.com.